Hello all you amazing and wonderful test subjects, welcome back to the channel, I stand alone gaming, and today we're going to play Stick It to the Stick Man. But with that being said, in the last episode we did a Clark Kent special, and essentially what we did was try to get the briefcases and the laser eyes. Which essentially reminds us of Superman, because when Superman is Clark Kent, he actually has glasses. Uh, I'm pretty sure he works in an office, and he has a briefcase typically. Um, so we try to do that, but in this episode, I think we're going to go ahead and play the investigative reporter. And what I want to do essentially is try to grab all the force attacks. There's force push, there's force punch or no force slap and force choke. So I'm going to grab those three moves. The reason we're picking the reporter because he has this move called further investigation as his passive down in the bottom, right? And essentially gives us extra rerolls after every level. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. And this way, hopefully we can focus on just those three attacks and see where it gets us all right so first things first we got to break out take this guy's picture apparently he's going to tase us instead just stop tasing me that'd be amazing apparently i'm just going to get tased to death jesus well how annoying was that all right if we could hit anybody that'd be great Apparently we're not going anywhere. So in this episode, we're going to try, you might be able to take mind attack, but we're going to try to focus on these attacks here. The ones that have force, so there's a force slap, force shove, and I believe force choke. So we're going to start with force slap here and hopefully it'll do us justice. Let's go ahead and grab force choke now. We're going to pick up a straw man. Uh, of course, we're in a situation now where we have to take a move that we don't want. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick fire trail here. It doesn't do any damage unless they're behind us anyway. And uh, should give us a little escape route. So let's go ahead and finish these guys off. If we can hit him with a picture when he's standing literally inches from my face. There we go. So let's grab. We're going to take exoskeleton in this case here. Reason being, it doesn't do any damage to people that are actually attacking us. It just reduces our damage. So. It's the only downside about trying to focus on certain attacks is like it's really up to luck. I mean, you can't pick and choose. You can only choose out of three moves every time. Like, it's never going to be exactly what you want it to be. Uh, let's heal through gaining experience. So every time we gain experience, we'll get some health back. Definitely a bonus. Try to take these guys out. We can get four slap level two. Try to take these guys out. I really do not like this uh, photography guy, but I do like his passive ability where you get the extra rerolls. The extra rerolls make it better, especially when you're trying to focus on a certain move so i mean it is what it is it can only do so much but even then even when you have the extra reroll sometimes you just don't get what you're looking for so just gotta do what you can throw the picture throw it took him out before slapping that guy Oof, gotta get out of that corner for sure. Oh, 
Oh, just quick enough to get out of there. So unfortunately, we don't have any attacks that kind of help us in this kind of scenario here. So we just kind of have to play a little defensively for now. Hopefully once we get some range and we actually level up these force attacks, we can make something happen. Typically, I try to avoid these uh, force attacks because they just don't seem to be doing a lot. So, today we will find out if whether that is true or not. So let's go ahead, grab some re-rolls, and grab force slap level 3. I'm willing to take mind attack if we have no other option, but I would prefer if we can just stick with the force attacks and that is it. So we'll see for sure. There's only so much we can do. And we will uh, move on to our next one. So uh, Let's go with... I guess fire trail level 2. Like I said, we don't have many options. Would be really nice if we could just keep getting what we're looking for. Oh, that's gonna suck. So, luckily, we got this force slap and we got a little bit of range now, so it is, I mean, helping us a little bit. But those lightning attacks are hard to avoid as the photographer because you're stopping for each one of these attacks. There we go. First boss is down. Run up here, broaden your mind. So it is pretty cool that you can get the uh, suitcase attacks. I for sure thought you could only get them with the uh, secret character, but I guess as soon as you unlock him, you can use him on any character, which is really cool. I did not know that. So, something to learn every episode. Take them out. Always love getting them before they even come out of the door here. All right, so we could do, let's do the cooldown one. Reason being is these all these moves are, we only have a limited amount. So the quicker we can get those off, better off I think we'll be. We still have yet to get the force shove, I believe it is. So cool little thing we still have yet to unlock. We're halfway through the game. And we literally haven't found the one move that we're looking for. So I mean, how bad, like the RNG in this game can be absolutely ridiculous. If, especially when you're looking for certain things. I mean, if you're looking to just level up and go along your merry way, I mean, that tends to work out in your favor. You can always do that. But if you're looking for like special moves or you're looking for one specific set of moves, it always seems to never work in your favor. So this is one of those maps where we get bum rushed by a lot of people. Luckily we have more range now, so shouldn't be too, too bad, but still we want to be safe just in case. So let's play a little bit of defense here, run away, let them chase us, run away, let them chase us. Machine guns are doing work, man. They just shot me twice. So let's run over around them and get this experience. We do not want the exploding exoskeleton, as much fun as that would be. Let's get force choke level four. Maybe that means we can choke a bunch of people. Took that guy out.
Of course, this guy's stuck over here in the air vent. Hey, buddy, you coming down or? There we go. We're hitting him from here. <laughs> that was weird. All right, and just like that, on to the next phase. Oh, this room. This room is fun. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't have a lot of range, so I mean, we still have to run around and grab these guys and stuff like that. But the room can be fun. Hit him. Take your picture. Uh oh. Might be in trouble. Uh oh. Get off of me. Let's go re roll. Re roll. Of course, you're going through all my rerolls. I guess we're going to go with Mind Attack here. We have no real choice. So, like I said, when you're looking for something specific, you never seem to be able to find it. When you're not looking for something specific, it's always there. Take these guys out. You do not want to get stuck here with all these turrets. Definitely not. Just stay in this room real quick. See if we can take these guys out. And there we have it. Let's go for well integrated here. We'll get a little bit of extra HP. Definitely nice to have. Morbid fascination was a close second. Nobody hates extra experience. Take them out, take them out. Now that everybody's over there, we'll hop over to this side. Spam this button a few times. Take these guys out. Another straw man. We got three of these bad boys up. Go for a reroll, force choke level five. This dude picked us up. Trying to slam us around here. Let's get out of here. Get out of dodge. Oof. Just did four damage. Spam the attack button. What do you guys got? There you go. All right. On to boss number two. Force choke definitely does wonders. About a quarter of his HP gone already. I'm okay with this. Uh oh. Get bombarded. We could go mind attack. Might as well. We have nothing else to go for. As soon as you're looking for force things, of course they do not show up. I'm gonna bitch about it this whole episode apparently, because they will not show up. We still do not have force shove. I'm not sure if it just won't give us the attack or what. I've definitely had all three before. But it definitely does not want to give us attack. Can I move? That'd be great. Yeah. All right, took out boss number two. Let's go ahead and grab, broaden your mind yet again. See how far we can actually get our attacks to go. <laughs> He's like, I'll run to your rescue. Oh, God, I'm being choked. Walk in the room like Darth Vader and shit. Choke on that. So there's nothing like super like damaging about these moves, but if you get a single target, they definitely do a decent amount. As you can see, we got 15 damage on that one guy. You can definitely uh, get some attacks going. 
go for a re-roll, re-roll. There we go. We finally got four shove. But you, can you believe it? Ooh, thought we were going to get shot. Did you die already? There you go. Oof, that was a rough one. Alright, and this is going to test our metal for sure. This is where you get bombarded with a boatload of enemies. So we'll see just how much damage we can do AOE style before we get uh, overtaken. Cool thing is this guy does have crowd control. So I mean you do have that going for you, but you can still get yourself in trouble pretty quickly in this level right here. Uh let's go with reduced damage. We got a pretty decent amount of range. Definitely not gonna complain about our range right now. And uh we have full health, so I'm not going to go ahead and pop open some hospital food if we already have full health, so. There we go. Luckily, the straw man was taking the mind attack from the other dudes. <laughs> that was kind of cool. We're force choking the dude in the wheelchair, and his wheels were just going uh, maniacal, kind of. definitely interesting we could do human projectiles that's kind of telepathic right yeah screw it we're already almost at the end here let's go ahead and grab human projectiles it doesn't seem to want to give us all the force attacks it just isn't in our uh isn't in our future it's unfortunate i mean i really wanted to see how far we could push like force choke and stuff like that and see how good they actually got to uh just in that aspect but you can only do so much the game sometimes just won't let you do what you want to do took both of those guys out now we gotta get the big boy. I can't be <laughs> he was actually hitting his head on the door frame there. That was pretty interesting. Alright. Run around. Or slap the living crap out of these guys. You get a slap. You get a slap. Everybody gets a slap. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, every single time we do a reroll, we're not getting any of these force attacks. It's just not meant to happen. We literally have to use all of our rerolls just to get the one move. And the funny thing is, we're looking for three separate moves. It's not even like we're looking for one move specifically. We're looking for any of the force attacks. And uh, just none of them are showing up in this gameplay. So, it is what it is. Maybe we'll have to do a re... re uh, like a rerun and just go through and see if we can do it again. Definitely seems to be doing some work though, like especially when you can get a force choke in and then they start force slapping on top of that, like it stops them from attacking. And uh, you still get pretty pretty good amount of damage in. I mean, we're getting 20, 20 damage in every time it chokes and slaps. So it's not bad. He definitely doesn't blast the uh, straw man. Let's see if we can get one more attack before we go back to reality. Just run from everything. Run, Forrest, run. Of course, so I guess we're going with the electric exoskeleton.
There we go. We got one more, actually. Uh, let's go with deflection here, because we don't need amplification, and we don't need hospital meals. We're on the last level, so... Go for deflection. Maybe we can deflect one of the boss's attacks. Oof! That could have been ugly. So now we're just kind of running for our lives, hoping that we can... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Can, uh, oof. Not walk right into that. Oh my god. Can we fucking move? That'd be great. Thank you. About time. Man, that was rough. All we had to... All we had to do was move. My character is like, man, I don't know if I should. <laughs> go best thing about the range is even though he was about to get his shot off we still force slapped him right in the face and just like that we are victorious so i mean i really enjoyed playing it i think force slap definitely is a force we reckon with if you start leveling it up pretty good and uh maybe we'll take a trip back and try this again uh, let me know in the comments if you do want to see me try to go for this again. But like I said, it's it's kind of hard. It's like when you purposely want to go for special moves or like certain moves. This game does not want you to get those. Any other time, any other playthrough, I would, ne I would never have a problem finding Force Punch or Force Slap or whatever. But in this episode, of course, I did. But if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. If you want me to come back to this episode and try to redo this uh go ahead and let me know in the comments and if you want to see more content of this game or similar content subscribe to my channel but with that being said thank you for your time thank you for watching i really hope to see you in the next video take care